Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects CC 2021 tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to make lights flicker, or blink, or strobe, or uh, illuminations flicker, that type of thing, guys. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I will show you the original shot here, this is just an image, and nothing at all is happening in it. When I add on my next layer with all the effects on it, and I hit spacebar, watch this. It is blinking and flickering like it has an electrical source. And again, this is just an image. Let's do it. Let's start from scratch. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this stuff. And we're going to start from zero. I'm going to even delete the composite composition. So here's where we are. The first step is you want to bring in whatever video or image into your project panel. The next step, I'm just going to drag and drop it in down here. And this is going to create a new composition with it with whatever the video or the image is in it the next step and this is an optional step but i just want to reduce the size of this is i'm going to drag my playhead out to about five seconds or so i'm going to drag this here the work area i'm just going to drop it there and here's what i'm going to do just going to reduce the size i'm going to go to composition trim comp to work area so we're just working with five seconds instead of 30 seconds of image or footage or whatever okay Following along with me, the next step is we are going to create a duplicate copy of this layer. So this image or this video, you go up to edit and you click on duplicate. That's it. Now we've got our duplicate layer. Now it's time to apply the blur. Want, you want to go now to effects and presets. <clears throat> For me, it is on the right side. If you do not see effects and presets panel, simply go to window, make sure there's a check mark beside effects and presets. Presto, let's go. Left click on effects and presets, wherever it is for you. And now in this search bar, we're gonna type in Gaussian. When you do that, you're gonna get an option to go Gaussian blur. Select this one, not the um, obsolete legacy version. Drag and drop the Gaussian blur onto the image or video. Presto, boom. Now you're gonna see under effect controls. Again, if you don't see that, make sure there is a check mark beside effects and presets and then you'll go into the effects controls panel here is the gaussian blur now for this i'm going to jack the blur up and i'm going to blur it substantially let's go to about well, that's a bit too much we want it to look well let's see what let's see what 45 looks like okay you know what that's nice and blurry that looks good okay so we've got a blurriness of 45 for this one Okay, good. Now, the next step is we need to create a mask. We only want the bright areas to be blurred. We don't want the rest of the image blurred. So what we want to do is making sure you're on the top layer still, head up here and grab the pen tool. Left click on it, and we're just going to draw a very quick mask, and it doesn't have to be extra accurate. And the reason why is because, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to be feathering it. So we don't need to be super accurate. So I'm going to go to here. I'm going to go to here. I'm just going to pull on that a bit to create a little bit of a bend. I'm going to pull on that to create a bit of a bend. I'm going to click here, create a bit of a blend. Again, it, this does not have to be perfectly accurate. I'm going to create a bit. Ooh, that's a bit much. Uh, oh, well, whatever. All right, something like that. I'm a little too far out, but that's okay. There we go. And then I'm going to go to here. I'm going to pull on it, pull a bit of a blend. And again, this doesn't need to be all that accurate. Just nice and close and go to here, we'll go to here, and then we'll go to here, 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 and zip it up. There we go, we have added the mask, and I made sure that on the last point, when I clicked on it, there was a little O, so that it means that it closes. Now, go to the, uh, the second layer here, the top layer, click on that triangle, click on the one on beside masks, and when you do that, you're gonna see mask one. This is good news. What we want to do now is we want to increase the feather considerably. This basically blurs the outside edge and the inside edge, and it just sort of makes it sort of shade and uh, less stark contrast between outside and inside. So it just feathers the edges. I guess that's why the word is feather. So we've increased the feather to 100 pixels. Excellent. The next step on the top layer, we're going to switch the mode. Now, if you do not see mode, don't panic, because there's a chance that you will see this. You want to go down here and expand or collapse the transfer controls pane. If you don't see the mode, left click on that little button here, and now you will. Under mode, click on it, and we're going to drop it down from regular, 
We're going to change that to screen. All of a sudden, it is brighter. Let there be light. Excellent. Let's keep going. I'm going to click out of this one here. I am going to go back to my effects and presets panel. And now it's time to add in a little bit of blur. The best way to do that, in my opinion, is to go to the top here under animation presets. Click on that and then click on behaviors. Sort of scroll down to the bottom-ish area and you're going to see a few options. The one we want is opacity flash random. Left click on that and drag and drop that on top of the light bulb mask. When you do that, you're going to see something cool. I'm going to go ahead and hit spacebar, and all of a sudden we have a very subtle but very noticeable flash. Now that's a good chance that that is all you need to do, and if that's it, you can click off this video now. We have solved your problem. We've got some flashing and some strobing, but it is quite subtle and it's not very fast. So, making sure we're selected on the top layer, we're going to go to Effect Controls again. Under Opacity Flash, you'll see it in the Effect Controls here, you have the Chance of Flashing and Flash Nervousness. What is this? A flash went to a first dance or something? Or at the prom? Whatever. The Chance of Flashing, I am going to increase it to about 70% because I want it to flash frequently. <clears throat> Partly because that's kind of the effect I'm going for, and B, because I want it to be more noticeable for you. And more importantly, I'm going to increase the Flash Nervousness from a standard of 50 I'm going to jack it up to about 150, or let's go ahead, about 150, something like that, so that it happens a little bit more often. Let's go ahead and now see what we've got. I'm going to left-click outside of it, hit spacebar. It is nervous. That's right, guys. We have a jittery, nice, perfect, stroby flash. If you want to go even further down the rabbit hole, and again, this might be not necessary for you. If not, click off. Leave me a like. I'd like that. Thank you. Um, we can add one more thing in here, and what you can do is you can go to Stylize down here, and under Stylize, we're going to add one more effect. The one we are looking for is Strobe Light. Left click on Strobe Light, and also drop it on top there. This is going to make it a little weird looking, because in this case, here, you'll see when I hit Spacebar, it's flashing, but it's flashing, and the, the color is wrong, as you can see here. It's bright white LED light, and this one is an older lamp. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Strobe Color. We're going to left click here, and we're going to click on this little eyedropper, and we're going to take one of the yellow colors, like something out here, like an orangey yellow. There we go, and I've left clicked on it. Now the Strobe Color is that color. Now when I hit Space Bar, it looks a little bit more believable, but it's a bit too much. So the last thing I will do is I will blend this in with the original a little bit. And now, let's see something like 47, yeah, let's go 47%. Now let's hit spacebar and watch what we got. We have a flickering light. We did it out of nothing. That's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with some more tutorials. Cheers.